SpaceX has put the ball in the FAA's court after making some shocking changes to the Starship. With the second launch of the craft still nowhere in sight, SpaceX has decided not to sit and wait, but instead has continued making improvements that may force the FAA to finally approve the Starship for launch. Let's talk about the potential timeline of this launch and what SpaceX has done to the Starship since the last test flight. In recent times, SpaceX, under the visionary leadership of Elon Musk, has achieved significant milestones in its space endeavors. Although their journey has been monumental, it hasn't been without its fair share of challenges. On April 20th, during a highly notable Starship test flight, a significant explosion occurred merely four minutes after liftoff. This incident prompted a thorough investigation conducted by the Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA. The primary objective of this investigation was to uncover the root causes behind the explosion and to ensure the overall safety of future Starship missions. This safety assurance is crucial for SpaceX, as it is a key prerequisite for them to obtain their second launch license, enabling subsequent orbital flight tests. Following their meticulous review, the FAA outlined a total of 63 corrective actions that SpaceX needed to undertake. These corrective measures spanned a wide range of areas, encompassing everything from making hardware adjustments to prevent leaks and fires, to reinforcing the integrity of the rocket's launch pad. Between September 8th and 13th, the global community of space enthusiasts had their collective gaze fixed upon the fully assembled Starship 25 and its accompanying Super Heavy Booster 9. This period marked the designated launch window and the anticipation for a groundbreaking launch was palpable. However, this excitement was abruptly tempered when the FAA made the unexpected decision to withhold the launch license. In response to this development, SpaceX made a surprising move by disassembling the Starship from its booster. Many individuals are now engaging in speculation regarding the reasons behind this decision. One prevalent theory is that it relates to concerns surrounding the flight termination system, which had been highlighted by the FAA. However, it's important to consider that there could be other factors at play. These could range from thorough hardware checks, apprehensions about the connection between the Starship and Booster, or feedback from both the FAA and SpaceX, necessitating alterations to the system. Additionally, it is conceivable that specific safety protocols or drills required demonstration or rehearsal in preparation for the next launch attempt. Amidst all of the recent developments, Kathy Luders, a pivotal figure in SpaceX's operations, has offered some much-needed clarity regarding the potential timelines for the next Starship launch pending FAA approval. Indications suggest that we may witness this event in just a few weeks. Elon Musk, SpaceX's visionary leader, also hinted at this with a tweet stating, Moon soon. Shortly after this, SpaceX released a video showcasing a test of the Raptor vacuum engine specifically designed to replicate extended durations in space. Industry experts have also weighed in on SpaceX's progress since these recent announcements. There's an underlying sense of optimism in their assessments as they highlight that the SpaceX team is steadily advancing towards the next orbital flight test of the highly anticipated Starship. However, it's crucial to acknowledge that the challenge of securing the official launch license remains a significant hurdle that needs to be overcome. It's somewhat amusing to note that, at the moment, the FAA's launch license appears to be generating more attention than the rocket itself. However, even if SpaceX obtains the FAA's approval, they'll still face another regulatory hurdle, securing environmental approval from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service before any launch can proceed. The timeline for this particular process remains uncertain. The list of 63 actions that the FAA has mandated SpaceX to complete covers a wide range of concerns. 
These actions encompass everything from making hardware modifications to preventing leaks and fires, to fortifying the rocket's launch pad, to ensure that debris and sand are effectively contained during liftoff. The FAA has clarified that concluding their investigation into the mishap does not automatically grant SpaceX the immediate green light to commence their launches from Boca Chica. Nevertheless, closing this investigation does bring SpaceX one step closer to realizing its aspiration of sending starships into space. Elon Musk took to the internet and simply asked for clarification on what these 63 actions were that SpaceX is supposed to address in direct response to the FAA's directive. Since the inaugural launch of the Starship in the spring, the SpaceX team has displayed unwavering dedication. They have not only been focused on refining the Starship rocket itself, but also on optimizing the infrastructure of the launch pad that surrounds it. One particularly notable upgrade involved the implementation of a water deluge system at the base of the orbital launch mount. This system was purposefully designed to mitigate the kind of damage observed during the initial launch attempt. Additionally, SpaceX engineers introduced a hot staging ring at the apex of the Super Heavy booster. This strategic modification aims to improve the separation process between the rocket's first and second stages as it ascends into space. On August 25th, a significant event occurred when Booster 9 underwent its second static fire test. It was a moment of marvel as we witnessed the powerful spacecraft igniting its advanced Raptor version 2 engines. This test took place while the spacecraft was firmly positioned at SpaceX's renowned Starbase facility in South Texas. Following this milestone, Elon Musk took to Twitter to express his excitement, declaring the test a success. A subsequent confirmation from SpaceX revealed that 31 out of the 33 Raptor engines functioned as expected for the full six-second duration during this test. This success story wasn't an overnight achievement. On August 6th, Booster 9 underwent its initial static fire test, which regrettably ended prematurely, lasting only 2.74 seconds. Furthermore, during this test, four of its primary Raptor engines encountered malfunctions, either failing to ignite or shutting down earlier than planned. For SpaceX, the static fire test functions as the final dress rehearsal before an actual flight. These tests provide a crucial opportunity to assess both the rocket's performance and the ground systems under conditions that replicate an authentic launch scenario. Following such tests, the subsequent steps adhere to the test as you fly doctrine. Notably, recently, employees at Starbase gathered for a photo session at the launch site. This photo session is reminiscent of people taking a group photo after completing a significant project at work. Speculation arises that this photo session might indicate that they have concluded all the necessary fixes and changes to Starbase's Stage Zero, suggesting they are ready for what comes next. It appears that everything is in place for Starship's next significant spaceflight, except for the green light on the software side of things. Just like airplanes have to adhere to strict rules before taking off, rockets face even more stringent requirements. No spaceflight can commence without the approval of the FAA, the governing body for the skies. Obtaining a launch license is crucial, especially given the relatively new nature of Starship and a thorough safety assessment is of utmost importance. SpaceX, recognizing the significance of this, recently outlined its strategies to address the issues encountered during the explosive test flight of Starship and its Super Heavy booster in April. Their objective is crystal clear, to facilitate another flight within this year. As part of its strategic plan, SpaceX has successfully implemented 57 out of the 63 proposed corrective measures. These measures encompass strengthening the launch tower and pad system and incorporating a flame deflector. The effectiveness of these modifications has been confirmed 
through a series of successful tests. Now, the decision rests with the FAA, and SpaceX awaits their approval to proceed. Many members of the space enthusiast community have expressed their concerns and, at times, frustrations regarding the FAA's stringent regulations. Their sentiments appear justified, especially in light of a recent statement by the FAA that has garnered significant attention. The acting head of the Federal Aviation Administration hinted that the agency might grant a launch license for SpaceX's Starship rocket as early as next month. Polly Trottenberg, the acting FAA administrator, stated, We're working well with them and have been in good discussions. Teams are working together and I think we're optimistic sometime next month. This statement has raised hopes for a swifter decision from the FAA. Given the rapid progress SpaceX has been making, there's a collective hope that the FAA's decision won't be unnecessarily delayed, as has been the case in the past. If everything proceeds smoothly, Starship could be poised for a launch as early as this very month. However, the space industry, known for its unpredictability, may still present unforeseen delays that could span weeks or even longer. Nevertheless, with each passing day, we draw closer to witnessing the immense power of Starship as it soars through the skies. What do you think? Will we have to wait another month to see the Starship fly again, or could the second test be much closer than we think? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you like this video, you may also be interested in this one, which talks about the amazing changes SpaceX has made to the Starship's welding.